Yo, what's up guys? Matt from Upsilon Mining coming back at you with another video. And in this video, I wanted to quickly uh, go over my analysis on um, Ethereum Classic post ETH merge. So as you guys know, obviously, Ethereum is going away. Can't mine it anymore. If it can't be mined anymore, you're going to have to mine something else. And a lot of the bigger arguments I am seeing, uh, especially those who purchase ASICs or who want to purchase ASICs that can mine Ethereum right now, is that they can mine Ethereum Classic. <clears throat> or those who are using uh, four gigabyte cards and they want to switch over to Ethereum Classic after Ethereum. So I was curious for my own, um, you know, for my own reasons as well. You know, I do have some Polaris cards that are four gigabytes. Uh, and I have them mining, um, not Ethereum Classic, they were before, but they're mining Ergo now. But like, I wanted to think in terms of Ethereum Classic. And the same goes for if you had, let's say, a, a 3080 Ti or a 3070 or whatever the card may be, and you wanted to mine Ethereum Classic after. So this is for the scenario where going from Ethereum, Ethereum to Ethereum Classic after proof of stake. So let's take a look quickly at the numbers for the current numbers based off of um, a um, jazz miner uh, XI4U I think it is what's it called X4U um, so this uh, just jazz miner is the efficiency king when it comes to Ethereum and it currently mines uh, 540 mega hash per second at 240 watts which is great and if you look punch in the numbers right now as it stands today um, with a say 10 cent kilowatt uh, 10 cent per kilowatt hour uh, we're looking at profitability of 10.65 a day let's actually put in let's put in my cost which is 12. so we're looking at right now a 10.49 per day of uh, ethereum and uh, 7.60 per day on Ethereum Classic. Now, I think I did the spreadsheets with 12 cents, but the numbers will be close enough that it shouldn't really matter, and you'll see why in a second. So I punched that these numbers in, as well as I've done the numbers for a 3080 Ti. So a 3080 Ti can get around 119 mega hash per second with the new LHR unlock, around, say, around 300 watts or so. Uh, with that, the day current um, profitability for Ethereum on a 3080 Ti is $1.74, and on Ethereum Classic, we're say a dollar eleven. The numbers are really close: twelve cents, ten cents per kilowatt hour. It's very, it's very close. So let's just ignore the discrepancies and some of those small differences. Now, I wanted to do the comparison, comparative analysis, and explain what uh, I see here. So, the Jazzminer X4U. I could be getting the name wrong, to be honest with you. What is it? It's a Jazzminer X41U. Okay, Jazzminer X41U. Uh, well, costs around eighty eight hundred dollars Canadian to purchase right now from Jingle Mining. Let's, just, let's take a look at that. And I only made this video because I was curious myself, and I really wanted to buy one of these uh, these miners. So let's take a look here. This is the popular one that's pulling. So sixty five ninety nine shipping with shipping. I did this, so this isn't even including shipping the cost. So $65.99 USD to Canadian is $8,300. So let's just put the numbers in $8,300. Okay, so you put the cost of purchasing that piece of hardware, okay, in Canadian dollars. <coughs> right now, I punched in the numbers based off the hash rate, electricity rate, and the cost per day is $0.77 cents to run this thing, which is amazing. Uh, cost per year is two hundred eighty dollars. Your profit per day is thirteen forty one Canadian, and on Ethereum Classic, your profit will be nine sixty eight. Now, as you know, uh, most people are going to mine Ethereum right now, but that's going away, and it could be going away as soon as August. So you might only have two months or so to to uh, to mine on that. And let's say this the current situation maintains the way it is values of Ethereum don't go up, but you're able to continue mining and definitely it'll take about 618 days to break even. With Ethereum Classic, we're making 968 per day 
and we are we're ROI on 857 days, which isn't awful either. Uh, just under what, just over two years, not too bad in my opinion. Standard ROI in most business uh, operations could be three to five years, right? So that's pretty good. Now let's take a look quickly at the hash rate. The current hash rate now on Ethereum is. 15, uh, sorry, 1.08 petahash. So that's one followed by 15 zeros. That's a very big number, guys, okay? Um, the hash rate on uh, Ethereum Classic is only 24 um, terahash, which only has 12 zeros, or a thousand times less. So if we say, let's just take a look at the numbers here. 45, actually, a thousand times less, 45 times more hash rate is on Ethereum than Ethereum Classic. Now, let's say the merge occurs. Um, the numbers remain the same on this piece of hardware, right? So the hash rate, the watts are the same, electricity rate's the same. Let's say assume that everything's the same. Uh, profitability on Ethereum is zero now, so you'll never, you'll never ROI. So ignore this one here, there's a moot point. It's not possible. So you're gonna to have to merge Ethereum, uh, mine Ethereum Classic, right? So th these ASICs can only mine uh, ET hash algorithms. One uses ETC hash and one uses ET hash, right? ETC hash is for Ethereum Classic and ET hash is for Ethereum. Um, let's say based off of a migration factor of one, meaning everything will move over to Ethereum. Everything that's currently in Ethereum will go to Ethereum Classic. Okay, so that'll increase the hash rate by a 46 fold on to Ethereum Classic, which is um, 1.1 petahash will be on Ethereum Classic. Now, given the current uh, amount of profitability per day and doing the division by the factor, we're looking at a 21 cent profit. Short, man, allergies bug me. 21%, uh, 21 cent profit per day on Ethereum Classic with 1.104 petahash on Ethereum Classic, meaning we're assuming everyone that's on Ethereum will go over to Ethereum Classic. Now we know that won't be the case. And we're also assuming that the value remains the same. So if the value remains the same, of the, so the value of Ethereum Classic remains the same and everyone currently on Ethereum, A6 and GPUs alike, move over to Ethereum Classic after the merge, you'll be making 21 cents per day which means your ROI day is 39,361, which is 107 years. So if you live to the gr the ripe old age of 108 and you are currently like one year old and you're mining, congratulations, you will break even in 107 years in the year 2,129. Good, maybe we'll have flying cars then. Maybe mining will be so powerful that we won't even We'll be able to harness the power from the sun directly and mine at a ridiculous rate in 107 years. So basically, you'll be dead. I'll be dead. Everyone will be dead. So there's no point. You'll never make your money back if the value remains the same and everyone comes over. Let's play with some of these numbers here. So I have these numbers on here. These are called post -merge, merge toggles I've added in. So the migration factor, let's say currently, uh, say 50% of a therm hash rate right now is ASICs. So we're going to put a 0.5 on that. Uh, the factor comes down to 23%, uh, sorry, 23.5x on the uh, difficulty uh, or, and the hash rate on the Ethereum Classic. We're assuming hash rate and difficulty are, co are directly correlated. So when hash rate goes up, difficulty also goes up uh, one to one. So this is essentially what, we, what we're using here. You are, your ROI, if only half goes over, will be, once again, you will make only 41 cents per day on a jazz miner. You take you 20,000 days to ROI and uh, a total of 55 years. Now it's it's completely possible my math might be way off here and this video might be a crazy moot point, but I think this looks pretty accurate because um, we're literally taking the hash rate and we're timesing it by 25. Therefore we have to divide the profit by 25. Essentially what's happening here, the 968, you guys want to know what, how this is kind of being done. We basically uh, just took uh, 968 per day as we were before and we divided by 24. That's how we get the 41 cents or 40 cents per day. Okay, makes sense, right? Hash rate goes up by a, a factor of 24. The profits reduced by a factor of 24. You now have 41 cents per day. 
that's if half come over, which way we will. So if half the Ethereum hash rate is uh, Ethereum Classic, it just gets worse if it's one. So if it's like one, if 100% go over, you're making 20 cents. Let's say only 30 cent, uh, 30%. Let's go 25% or ASICs and go over. And we're, think, we're starting to inject a little bit of hopium here into this equation. You're still looking at, um, no, no, sorry, 0 0.25. Uh, 28 years ROI. Okay, a 28 year ROI, if only half go over. Very optimistic again. Like we said, we're probably thinking there's at least 50 to 60% ASICs on Ethereum Classic right now, or if they're on Ethereum. Could be more, could be less, but let's go with that number. 25% hopium uh, level thinking here. 25% uh, go over to Ethereum Classic, which are ASICs. So we're assuming 25% are ASICs. Um, uh, the coin remains at one, 79 cents per day, getting a little better. Still going to take you 28 years ROI. Let's say the coin doubles in value. It's still going to take you 14 years. The coin goes up by 10x on Ethereum Classic. Now we're talking a 2.8 year ROI when you're making $7.92 per day. Now you're hoping that the coin goes up by 10x. If it goes up by 5x, you are within the acceptable range of business ROIs, both stand, most standard business ROIs, which is five years. So I'd say, with these very optimistic numbers, uh, you could ROI in five years if only 25% are Ethereum are ASICs move over and the coin goes up by a factor of five. If it goes up, obviously, more. So this is a play. Let's, let's, let's go this. Let's modify this, make this half our ASICs. And the coin value factor goes up by say 10. It's still going to take 5.5 years to ROI, which isn't horrible bad, but you would need a uh, say a 25x to make it reasonable within a 2.2 year period. And if you want to go back to the old days of ROI, whereby you can ROI in say six to seven months, yep, you would need a hundred factor increase in value in Ethereum Classic. I don't know if I could see that happening. If you guys can see that happening, I'd like to know why, because I'd hope it. I, I hope it would happen. I mean, I have Ethereum Classic, and I. But it, the odds are just horrible um, to do this. Uh, the chances are the value will maybe. Ten x at most. I, I don't know. I'm just pulling these numbers out of thin air, and I'd say sixty percent. Real realistic, sixty five percent are ASICs. I'm looking at ROI of seven years. Uh, the value just 10 X's in that time. I don't know the guys, the numbers don't look that good. They, they really just don't look that good. Um, yeah. And, uh, like I said, I'm not sponsored by anyone. No one has sent me a free jazz miner, so I'm not going to review the device here and, and inject a bunch of hopium into you guys. I'm just trying to use some basic math, uh, and give you a dose of reality of what's, what could happen here with this. Moving on over to the 3080 TI. Let's say you don't do a jazz miner and you want to just buy a GPU, um, we're looking at the same kind of similar type of thing here. So we're looking at $1,400 for a 3080 Ti, and um, let's put the hash rate in. So we're looking at 119 hash rate, 119. It's pretty much the same algorithm. Get the same hash rate roughly. And we're going to go 12 point 12 and electrical rate. What is this doing here? Okay, cost per day 86 cents per day. Okay, so this is uh, this is obviously again what's a moot point here. So we're looking at now if you were to buy if you were to buy a, um, four, a $1,400 uh, 3080 Ti, you're looking at what 639 days ROI, making around 219 per day Canadian. Okay. Um, it isn't too bad. And ETC, if you mind ETC at the current rate, you're obviously going to be um, taking about a thousand days to ROI, which isn't too bad either, right? Now, post merge, same kind of thing again. We're going to mess around with the uh, so with the numbers here, and let's say we, all the hash rate comes over. We're doing with a one uh, one hundred percent migration factor come over from Ethereum to Ethereum Classic. We're looking at a uh, 45 fold factor of increase of Ethereum uh, ETC network difficulty and hash rate. So the hash rate goes up, difficulty ha uh, 
gets divided by a factor of 45, you're looking at 125 year ROI on Ethereum Classic um, with these numbers currently right now. Um, like, let, let's say your electricity rate was like zero. Like, say you had free electricity. Um, did I put the numbers in there? Oh, I didn't. Okay. I'd have to put in zero here, maybe. I'd have to put zero into what to mine, actually. Let's, for, let's forget that for now. Uh, it's not because it's not going to happen to most people. So uh, 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, cost per day is the same. Cost per month is the same. Cost per year. The profit per day becomes 3 cents on Ethereum Classic. That's if you go to Ethereum Classic. Um, you're looking at I'd never ROI. But let's, let's reduce that migration factor down to, say, 50%. 50% of everything um, ASICs go from Ethereum to Ethereum Classic. We're looking at a 64 year ROI if the coin value doesn't go up. The coin 10Xs in that time, looking at a 6 year, which isn't, isn't too bad. Obviously, the 25Xs, you can get 2.5 years. You'd have to get a, once again, a 100x value in Ethereum Classic in order to recuperate your cost within 6 months. So, uh, yeah, and I'm not sure what's better here. Let's, let's look at the numbers here. So let's put 0.65 and 10 here. What's actually better? All right, so... Okay, so if we put the same numbers in, your ROI on Ethereum Classic for a Jazz Miner um, once proof of stake hits with these numbers, 65% and 10, a coin value factor of 10 increase, you're looking at a seven year uh, return, 7.1 year return, and a 30, 80, you're looking at 8.2 year return. So the returns are very similar, almost identical, but uh, the benefit is if you bought these GPUs, you can go mine uh, like Ravencoin or you know Ergo or Flux, which is hopefully something I want to do quite often. I like Flux. I like the Flux network and everything. So I, might, I prefer to mine Flux. But if you bought this Jasmine, you're stuck with ETC and you're looking at seven year. And if the, if the landscape changes about those other values of coins go up, you can switch over to the more profitable coin. With this, you're kind of stuck with this. You're looking at a seven year ROI. So these ASICs, excuse me guys, I had to sneeze. This ASIC looks like it is a bad deal. Just because the cost is too high, the original cost is way too damn high. I think it should be half. The, I think we should get this four thousand dollars. Then you're looking at a three-year return, and it makes it the more viable option. But since the cost is so high for the Jasminer X4 I or One U, um, and GPUs are dropping in prices, and GPUs can mine other coins, uh, I really think that your best bet, since the difference, since the differences between the ROI and the, in these really grim scenarios are really only a few months. Really, your best bet is to go GPUs and not buy this Jazz Miner. Unless you are a famous uh, YouTuber who has been sent a free Jazz Miner. <coughs> wink, wink. If you've been sent a free Jazz Miner, then yeah, take it for free. Why not take anything for free? All right. Anyways, guys, um, that's kind of where I'm going to leave this at. So if you guys like this analysis, if you think it was good, if there's errors in my calculations, please let me know. And let me know what you think about this. Do you think it's a good idea to buy this, this Jazz Miner X4 IU? I don't think it's a good idea at all. I don't think it's a terrible idea. So I would not be tempted by these other guys' videos and go and buy one and use their discount, discount codes and whatnot. Don't buy them because you're just you're losing your money. You're better off just going to buy a GPU um, and mining with GPUs because GPUs can mine ETC as well, right? Don't forget. But the, the cost for, yes, with this extreme efficiency, you'd think that this is a better bet, but this cost is so high, uh, I just don't think it's worth it, according to my spreadsheet and my numbers here. Anyways, guys, I will leave it there. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and like, and I will see you in the next one.